Hey guys, today's playing game of Quest 64. Um, this is an RPG for the Nintendo 64, was released in 1998 by Imagineer. And uh, this is not really a great RPG or anything like that. I think what's notable about this RPG is that it's one of the very few that's on the N64. There isn't that many RPGs on the N64, and this was the very first RPG that was released on the N64, and still one of the few that was ever released for the system. So I think that's what makes it kind of special and unique is not because it's a great RPG or anything like that, but because it's pretty much the only one, <laughs> one of the only ones available. And it's never been released for any other system, so let's just take a look. Um, yeah, I've never played this game, because, yeah. Uh, the PS1 was the, was the system, that was the platform for RPGs, right? The PS1 had so many great RPGs. The S64 had Quest 64. <laughs> But anyways, let's check it out. Let's see how this... I mean, this was the only RPG that, that N64 owners had for a very long time, right? So... Okay, blah blah blah, Grand Ambit... Okay. Alright, so I'm the stereotypical hero guy. This whole like aesthetic, open like this 3D aesthetic, it really reminds me of Super Mario 64. I mean, they basically took it from Super Mario 64, I think. Even the opening door animation is very similar to Super Mario 64. See this? That that's very similar to how Mario opens a door <laughs> in uh, Mario 64, and the stairs too. The way I go up and down the stairs is very similar to how Mario 64 does it. So I think they definitely took a lot from Mario 64 here. Yeah, they. The walking, the movement, opening the door, the animation, that's all very similar to Mario 64. Not a bad thing, I mean, Mario 64 was a great game, so... How come you won't say anything? Alright, talk to me. Can you get close? Alright. Hidden Spirit, you see, press the Z button. The mark of four spirits will appear. The spirits are risk to increase, you'll need much help. Z button, a wise spirit. Okay, my race was for sure, okay. Can't open this chest. Status environment. No, oh, it's a map. Okay. Elements. I don't know what that is. This is four elements: fire, water, wind, and earth. I'm guessing. A lot of RPGs use the four elements thing. Oh my god. Can the castles be designed any less, like, it's so boring, man. It's always like a bunch of spiral stairs, that's it. Yeah, this is also very Mario 64 ish. Uh, let's see. So many doors. Can I sleep here? Nope. I have 50,000 HP. Quite a bit. I start out with 50,000 HP. Can't open that. I think these are all the same. I'm thinking. Probably all the same.
What? My name is Rock. Rock level one. Can't open this door. Like almost like like a reskin Mario 64. But anyways, that's an RPG. I can't jump, and I can't attack, apparently. I'm trying everything, so... Seems that jumping and attacking is out of the question. Come on, even Mario 64, you could do that.
nothing here. Is, uh, this town actually has a day-night cycle. Yeah, it was uh, just sunset not that long ago, right? Now it's like um, getting nighttime. So the sun, at this uh, town actually has a day-night cycle, which is kind of impressive. <laughs> I didn't expect that. It was sunset and now it's nighttime. Cool. The day actually changes. That's good. Yeah. See, now it's nighttime. No longer sunset. It's a little bit interesting because you have to be within the monster's perimeter to be able to attack them. And okay, so it doesn't actually shift, change the screen or anything like that. But you just shift your different perspective, and you have to be close to the monster to attack them. And it's turn-based, so that's okay. Interesting, I guess. Big mouth. Okay. So you have to be close to each other first. What happened to my 50,000 HP? Oh, it wasn't 50,000 HP, maybe it's just 50 HP. Maybe, maybe I read it wrong. Okay. Maybe I read it wrong, it wasn't 50,000 HP. <laughs> it was just 50 HP. Uh, where's my item? Did I use a Yuli item? Use it. 
None of the buttons work. None of the buttons work here. I, I don't understand. MP10. Oh, it's MP. This one, fresh bread. Okay. That's why, it's because it's MP. Okay, so I cannot attack. I can only attack within my circle. It's a pretty unique combat system. I've never seen anything else like it. It's like no. Yeah, you just enter into this combat system where you have to be near the, the creature to attack, but it's still turn-based. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Rear rabbits. turn-based battles, so it's kind of traditional, but in a very interesting way. This monster is called Big Mouth. I'm not making this up. This monster is called Big Mouth.
on to the next town. stop here because, well, this is such a bog, like, standard, I would say, RPG. There is nothing too special about this one. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very bare bones, I would say. There's nothing really special about it, but I mean, this is what N64 owners had for an RPG, so <laughs> there's not much really you can do about it. There's not really much competition. But yeah, it's just such a bare bones RPG. I don't really have much I can say about it. Um, just, yeah, very, very basic, bare bones one. Um, nothing special about it. So, that's it, guys. <laughs> Quest 64. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, I can say one thing about it, which is that the combat system is kind of unique. It's, um, it's a turn based combat system, but you had to be in the vicinity of the creature, I guess. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's really all I can say about it. So, that's it. <laughs>